the luxury home builder missed estimates on both revenue and earnings and had the slowest new order growth in six quarters. It is, however, still benefiting from a mix of single family homes, so called city living condominiums, and luxury rental apartments. But with an average sale price of its homes at just over $865,000, there are a lot of questions on today's analyst call about the Republican tax plan. But Toll CEO Doug Yearly did not seem to have a problem with it. He noted both pluses and minuses for home buyers and then called the bill a wash. He also said he does not think at Toll's price point that his customers are driven by the taxes they pay when buying a home. Most interesting, though, he disagreed with several studies claiming home values in states like New York and California would drop if there were no property tax deductions or a cut to the mortgage interest deduction. I don't think any changes in this tax code as proposed by either the House or the Senate will have an impact on um, prices in California. You know, supply of houses is still very low. Land is very hard to get entitled. And, um, you know, our buyers out there are very affluent. And um, our business has been very good over the past couple of months as there's been a lot of headlines about this tax reform. Yearly added that sales in California continue to be strong, the strongest first week of December ever, he said. And toll is expanding communities in New Jersey where the tax hit could be hardest. Back to you. Yes, we're, aw we're aware. We're aware of that. <laughs> I mean, Diana, who else? We, I, I saw some estimates. I, I don't know where they had come from, but it might have been the realtors. It might have been toll where they said they thought the hit from this bill could be 10 percent of property values up to 20 percent in places like New Jersey. What's the thinking on that? Well, look, there are all kinds of studies throwing out all kinds of different numbers at this point because we don't know what the final bill is going to be. The question is really going to be demand, not just demand, but also will home owners want to stay or will they want to sell? And how will the financing of housing now play into the inventory problem? So if people aren't moving, they're not selling their homes because they're afraid of being under the new tax plan, then that'll slow down inventory as well. If people aren't buying because they feel that they can't afford it or they feel that it's not a good investment, then they're going to stay in rentals longer and that's not going to contribute to the housing economy. So again, you know, you have to wait and see where this bill ends up, but I, I, you, know, you can't put a number on it at this point is what I'm saying. The key word you said is investment, not to, you know, uh, with all due respect to Doug Yearly, smart guy knows his business, but to say that the people who can afford those higher priced homes that he's building don't worry about property taxes or things like that, I mean, it, it, it makes it less of a good investment. Sure, they can afford to pay those property taxes, but... They'll it, choose not to. It, it, exactly. <laughs> right, it increases if, if the price of a home, it increases that investment. Yeah, and it makes them pay more. And when you're talking about that $800,000 price point, maybe you have a $600,000 mortgage and you're just above that limit. If they do clip it down to a $500,000 cap on the mortgage interest deduction, it's still going to cost people extra money. That just adds to the price of the home. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.